Welcome back to Innovation. Today, what we're going to do is look at how to make the balls be caught by the cat. So that way, when our cat moves around, the cat can catch some balls. So let's start with the bit of code right here on the ball. Let's find a conditional block. So I'm going to move my screen over a little bit so I can get some room to build. I'm going to find the control, which is this orange thing right below the yellow events. And I want an if then conditional. Now I want to do a sensing block because I want to check, I want to sense if the cat is touching the ball. So this is the block up here. It says touching mouse pointer. I'm going to move this over and drop it right in there. So you go ahead and do that. It still says touching mouse pointer. So we want to click on the down arrow and change it to touching cat. So if the ball is touching the cat, we want it to do something. I think I wanted to play a sound like I did before when it was touching the ground. So a good sound to play, I think, is a pop. So I'll get it to play a pop. Next, I want it to delete itself. So I want it to disappear off the screen, and that's how I do that. I get it to delete itself as a clone. So I'm going to go to Control. And I got to scroll way down here to the bottom just before I get to sensing. And there's this block here that says delete this clone. So now I need to fit this code in right um, below here. We're going to put it right down here because we want it to check to see if it's touching the ground first. And I'm going to drag might have to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to drag this down and I want to hold it right by the if and I want to position it right down here. You see how everything kind of moves out of the way for me? And I let go and now it's in position. So now the ball, when it starts as a clone, it's going to go to a random place and it's going to start at the top. It's going to show itself. And then it's going to check to see if it's touching the ground. If it's not touching the ground, it's going to move by, down by 10. If it's touch, then it's going to check to see if it's touching the cat. If it's touching the cat, then we're going to get a popping sound and we're going to delete this clone. So let's see how that plays. Oh, the cat's touching it. Not touching it there. Not touching it there. So I can move the cat to try to catch the balls. I'm not very good at this. Oh, missed it. Come on, one more. Oh, there we go, one more. So that's pretty cool. The next thing I would like to do is keep track of a score to see if the cat has caught the balls or missed the balls. To do that, I need to create a variable. So I'm going to click on variables, click on make a variable, which is right up here. And we're going to call it score. And you can see it shows right up here at the top of the screen. So every time <coughs> the cat catches the ball, we should get some points. So we're going to change the score by one point. Well, maybe we'll give them five points. And every time the cat misses the ball and the ball touches the ground, we're going to change the score by negative one. 
So that's a minus one, and the score will go down by one point. Now we only have one other problem. We have to make sure that the score resets every time we press the green flag. So right up here in front of the hide, we want to set the score <coughs> to zero. <coughs> Pardon me. So now let's take a look and see what, what we have and see if our score works. I got five points. And I lost one. And I lost another. Oh no. I'm gonna go negative. Oh no. Oh, seven points. There we go. Well, that's all for now. Next time, we'll talk about how to get maybe a high, a, a winning score and what to do to show that you have won the game. Bye for now.